And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of Check the... it, the old dude. Yo, me and the boys had an idea about another way to tell this mo story. Right, boys? Yo! Yo, listen to the boys and we'll tell you now. How losing your cool and having a cow can run you out when your lip gets flipped and get your mug up all over Egypt. Na, 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 na. But the pharaoh in his teenage days Chilling, kicking, wearing silk jamsies Learning hieroglyphics from his granddad Ramses When a whack Egyptian Black belt kung fu Started whooping it up On his homie Hebrew Would have called the cops, stood back But instead He took a big stick upside of his head A man's down in Egypt Our troubles are severe Na 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 The stress down in Egypt increases more each year And he got all scared. Oh. He'd be better off by avoiding the pharaoh. Oh. He packed his bags, thinking if he'd stay, they'd be punishing him in a capital way. Oh. Oh. Now, Lord only knew, but he thought he might stay a while in the desert by community night to disengage his rage and become equipped to return to his home as the Prince of Egypt. I guess down in Egypt, no moving day is near. Na 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 No, let's stick with the Western. See you guys. And now it's time for an installment in the history of fashion with Archibald. The part of the show where Archibald comes out and shares a lesson in the history of fashion. In the olden days, the biggest craze with the folks who lived back then of the bourgeoisie and accessory for the women and the men. Not pant or shirt, nor blouse or skirt, or anything made from thread, but woven hair from horse or bear situated on the head. Our astonishing wigs! They're enormously big! We love our astonishing wigs! Astonishing wigs, astonishing wigs! Do you like our astonishing wigs? From most famous queens of greatest means to the lowly Duchess Fair, ran a common thread upon the head for those unhappy with their hair. Now you can bet that even pets and livestock would confer. So wigs they took to improve the look of their bristles and their fur. Our astonishing wigs. They're enormously big. We love our astonishing wigs. Astonishing wigs, astonishing wigs. Do you like our astonishing wigs? We are the pigs in wigs. Yes, our locks are very big. And we squiddle without a care in our artificial hair. Our hearts are most enthralled since pigs like us are bald. So we'll sing and we'll smile and we'll probably flaunt the style of our astonishing wigs. Quick, quick. And so it said, this fashion spread from the lofty to the low. From prince to pig, the look was big and continued thus to grow. Hence, girls and boys would dress their toys in manufactured mops. Then bush and tree soon too would see small wigs upon their tops. Ah. Our astonishing wigs! They're enormously big! We love our astonishing wigs! Astonishing wigs, astonishing wigs, do you like our astonishing wigs? These are our wigs in wigs, yes, our lives are very big. And they dance without a care in their artificial hair. We don't panic if their hair gets problematic. We just need to back and smile. For the fabricated style of astonishing wigs. Astonishing wigs. So you think I'm silly? Well... Yes. This has been an installment in the history of fashion with Archibald. Tune in next time to hear Archibald say... So then, after a while, wigs went out of fashion and everyone turned to bell bottoms. Oh, brother. Our astonishing wigs! Veggie Tales presents If I Sang a Silly Song. The silliest, the funniest, the happiest, the monkeyest? Yeah, monkeyest. 
best silly songs in the history of silly songs. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. It's a silly song telethon where we count down all the way to the number one silly song of all time. Ooh, what'll be number one? Will it be Dance of the Cucumber? Watch the cucumber! It's why this oh, me how and smooth his motion! Or maybe Endangered Love. Manatees! You are the what? Larry? Maybe it's the hairbrush song. In my hairbrush. Or will it be a new silly favorite? Ooh, what about the one about biscuits? Come on, oh, let's go! Oh, what about biscuit on Sazzle Miranda? Oh. Not only do we have biscuits, we've got sippy cups, turtles, and pants. And announcing an all new surprise silly song selected by Larry from thousands of fan submissions. I get all bubbly just thinking about it. Discover the top 20 favorites of all time, plus a brand new never before heard silly song. The fans have spoken. If I sang a silly song, coming to DVD on January 24th, 2012. It's true. I will explain it to you as only an opera. Kids, I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Junior Asparagus. Larry's on assignment. Well, thanks for joining me today, Junior. Uh, we're well, here... We're over here by Cordy to talk about what we've learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. Uh, and God Junior, has a lot uh, to say. What are you doing? We haven't learned anything yet. Are you sure? Because I feel smarter already. Uh, this uh, is of real. course we I'm sure, but we, we haven't even everyone. started the show. Well, if we're all done here, may I go? Junior, what's going on? What's your hurry? Hurry? Uh, yes, hurry. Well, you see, my mom said she was going to make me cookies. Oh, well, that's kind of her. And she said it would be done after the show today. So I want to hurry up and be done. Well, Junior, just because we finish the show sooner won't make cookies bake any quicker. No? Uh, no, you'll just have to be patient. Patient? Yeah, uh, sometimes we just have to wait, even if the waiting isn't easy. I don't get ya. It's just like this letter we got from Samuel Nofziger from Cairo, Illinois. Hi, Sammy. Samuel writes, Dear Bob and Larry, my dad promised to get me a bicycle when I turn five. I'm only four and a half, but I can't wait. I want the bike now. What should I do? Uh, P.S. Uh, please hurry with your answer. Oh, I know just how you feel, Sammy. It's just like me and the cookies. I can practically taste those chocolate chips now. Oh, boy. Junior, you're not helping. Sorry. 
Sammy, your question reminds me of a man in the Bible named Abraham to whom God promised something. And Abraham had to wait, just like you. And I bet you have a story already, don't you? Actually, uh, not yet. Not yet? But the kids, Bob, they're waiting. Patience, Junior. It'll be done just in time. You'll see. Here, hold this. What are we doing, Bob? Oh, this is exciting, Junior. We're going to make a film ourselves. About what? We're going to interview Abraham and make a show. Abraham? How are you going to do that? Close your eyes and use your imagination. Whoa, Bible times. You thought of everything. Yep. We have a catering tent, and a nurse's station, and a film crew. Ah! Wow, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay, we're burning daylight here, people. Chop, chop! The daylight is not all that is burning. It's too hot! I am melting! Uh, Junior, I'm the director. No complaining, guys! Ah! Trust me, when we're done with this, we'll have the best show ever. I cannot wait. Just have some patience. Patience? He's fine! Not really. Not that kind of patience. Hmm. Bob the Tomato here, and right now I'm in the middle of the desert. Well, it is so hot! And there is so much sand! Where I'm about to get to the bottom of the amazing story of one of my personal heroes, Abraham, a man of incredible patience. Where's the patience? No, not that kind Maybe of... Maybe we should skip hey, this part and hurry up and find this Abraham I guy. I have cookies sure. waiting, you remember? Whoa! You look kind of rad. Hey, hey you have a I'm not, I'm not the Come patient. Here, I'm, I'm the director. I'm not here. here. Well, well, Dang, do! Jean-Claude, move that light over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Abraham's nose is shiny. Uh, could I get some makeup here? Makeup! <laughs> God bless you! And that background, it, it looks a little bit too deserty. Uh, Philippe? Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Mr. Abraham, you are the father of a great nation. What is the secret to your leadership? Well, frankly, I'm as... Bob! What happened? Um, we ran out of tape. Well, get another. I brought plenty. Actually, you're down to one, Bob. One? Uno. Just have to get through this kind of quickly then, huh? Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, everyone. Take three. Take three! I said, frankly, I'm as surprised as you. Cut! Take four! Uh, as I said, uh, frankly, I'm a su So, these are spitting camels. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, very sorry, Mr. Abraham. I'm so embarrassed. You all blushing. But I I'm red. That's what I said. <laughs> you are definitely a man of great patience. Patience! No, no, no! Patience! Not patience! Oh, that makes perfect sense. Cookies waiting. Abraham interview. Take five. Ow. Sorry, moving right along. Uh, all right, then. Uh, back to your <laughs> story, Abe. Well, to tell you the truth, Bob, it's all about hope and trusting that God is going to do what he says he's going to do, <laughs> even if it takes some time. Well, hey! <laughs> waiting is really hard. Sure it is. But sometimes you got to wait, even when the waiting ain't easy. You know, my name wasn't always Abraham. It used to be Abram. That was back when I was living the high life with my wife, Sarah, in the town of Ur. Ur? Ur. You are Ur. We are Ur, not Ur. Oh, 
really something fun to do. Plenty of refreshments and loads of family. But when I say family, well, I mean my brothers and sisters. You see, Sarah and I had not been able to have any children of our own. And that's what we wanted, a child. Here's your ball. That's Harold! Aunt Sarah, that's Tickles! Harold! <laughs> I think I'd make a good mommy. Uh, this is Lot, Abraham's favorite nephew. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you kids! <laughs> oh, sure, I think maybe Abe and Sarah wanted kids, uh, but sheeper like kids, uh, plus you can set pizzas on their backs like a little table. So, you know, uh, extra awesome! We love it in her, we love it in her! Hey, it's really, really nice in her! And then one day, God spoke to me. He told me to leave my country, my father's home, for a land that he would show me. It was very surprising. This is very surprising. God said one day my children and my children's children would become a great nation. And he was going to bless me. God bless you! Finally, a child of our own. <laughs> I can't wait! Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, chin up, turn around, sit down, whoa! I, I sat on something sharp. That's fantastic, uh, moving right along here. Uh, yes, uh, let's talk about... Patience. <laughs> I was still young, 75, practically a seedling. But, but I was at peace and ready for the adventure ahead. Peace! It was a mess. Packing. Change of address forms. Plus, I have to plan for a baby! He knew I preferred to live near my mother. So, Sarah... Are you sunburned? I'm red. That's what I said. You know, I've got an ointment for that. So, anyway, God said to go, but where? Abe says he didn't say. He didn't say? It's like making my insides all crazy. Like... Like a smoothie. You know what I could go for right now? A smoothie. I love those. Bob, we're running low on tape. Sir, could you make your answers a little more short and peppy? But uh, it didn't happen, short and peppy. Then just skip to the part where we learn about patience. Patience! <laughs> As you were saying. So we obeyed God, leaving our homeland of Ur immediately. Lot tagged along, too. We took a lot of sheep. Lot took a lot of pizza. A lot. We finally arrived in Canaan. Well, life was good. But still no children. Then, famine hit. Lot ate all the pizza. What? It was cheese in the crust. Hey, you kids! So we decided to move again, this time to Egypt, to weather it out. And though we didn't have our own home... And still did not have a child... We were patient! It wasn't easy, but we waited for God's promise. I spent time thinking about all the things I would do with my baby. And I started thinking up names for him. <laughs> Larry, Mo, Shemp. God had made us a promise, and we had hope. When waiting got hard, it helped me to think about how wonderful it would be when we got our promise. So that's how patience paid off. The end! Okay, let's go home, Bob. Cookies await. Uh, Junior, what about the child they were waiting for? The child? We wanted a child? Haven't you been listening? Mm, sorry. Cookies on the brain. Anyway, we were at the part when Abe Shepherds and Lot Shepherds started fighting. Fighting? <laughs> yeah, you do not want to wear wool in the desert. It makes you grumpy. You're dirty me! <laughs> Lot and I love each other like brothers. 
But our shepherds, <laughs> well, that's another story. <laughs> So, I allowed Lot to choose which direction he would go, and that land would belong to him, east or west. Uh, I think I'm gonna go east. And my dear nephew went his own way. My last bit of family left. <sighs> That was a sad day. But that's the time when God spoke to him again and reminded him of his promise. God told me to look around, all around, east and west. He promised me that all the land would be mine and that my descendants would outnumber the sand. But I can't count the sand! I think that's the idea, honey. It was a wonderful promise. And then, right when we thought our answer was about to arrive, war broke out! You've got to be kidding me! This is never gonna end! You can't rush God's promises! Would you please hurry up and get to the lesson in patience? Patience? That's what I'm talking about! I can't do this anymore, Bob! Yeah! What he said! I'm burning hot out here! <laughs> That helped a little. Bob, I'm tired of waiting. I want to go home. I want my cookies. Now! Junior, come on. This is why we're here. For what, Bob? So I can miss the cookies my mom promised me? No, Junior. You're eventually going to get the cookies your mom promised you. Well, but what can I do in the meantime? Well, do you trust that your mom's going to do what she said she's going to do? Yeah. You're right, Bob. I'll get my cookies eventually. I shouldn't have gotten so upset. But we're still out of tape! Oh, no. I got an extra if you want it. You mean it? Sure. It's the second season of Dancing with the Stars. And you can tape over it. Ready to roll! So, Abe, I too know how hard it is to wait calmly for something you really, really want. Tell us what happened next. Then I got a new name, Abraham, which means father of many nations. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Then God made good on his promise. And sure enough, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. The baby God promised 15 years earlier. Isaac. The boy that would become the father of Israel, the nation that would bless the whole world, all the way through King David to Jesus. Wait, that's the end? You're done with the story? Well, there's a lot more, actually. But as far as patience goes, it's a good place to stop. Dad, 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 can we shoot a few holes? <laughs> you got it, son. Come on. <sighs> What a nice story. Aren't you glad you waited? So there you have it. Patience. It's not always easy to wait, but God always comes through with his promises. Are you ready for your cookies now, Junior? What? Already? Oh boy! Cookies, here I come! Do you suppose there might be some cookies for us? Wee oui, wee! Oui, mon ami! <laughs> And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Bob the Tomato, unable to sneeze, visits the sneeze doctor. Please, can someone help me? I need to sneeze. Wait for the sneeze doctor. Just take a seat. He'll be right with you. With a tissue, I will assist you. Sneeze all your troubles away. Add up to 150 miles. 
miles an hour. Interesting fact. The average sneeze travels at a rate of 100 miles an hour. In 2003, Dirk Evert of Grunholz, Germany, clocked in at 150. Way to go, Dirk. Danke. I think I have a remedy. Perhaps in my pulmonary. I bought it from a merchant in Spain. For ultimate sneeze satisfaction, I try allergic reaction. Take a deep breath. If it helps, you can squint at the sun. Oh, here's some pepper. Let's see. I know. I can try this pepper. Don't be afraid. Set it free. Interesting fact, the photic sneeze reflex, or sneezing when exposed to bright light, is a genetic trait found in 25% of the population, including Dirk. Gesundheit, which interestingly means good health in German. Yeah. Sneeze if you have to. Sneeze if you need to. Ah. Accidentally. Against the. Oh. 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 Has been silly songs with Peggy. Tune in next time to hear Dirk say, Ich bin ein Schneezer. Plywood, Jacques? Let's see. Put on goggles. Turn on saw. Wear safety mask. Ear protection. Cut carefully. Turn off the saw. <laughs> nope. Way too much work. Cardboard it is. But Jacques... No buts, Maurice. I'm following in the footsteps I'm of the great, great Leon, Leon Morang, the, the most, most beloved inventor in the world. world. He was born right here in Boo Booville, you know. My hero. Uh, yes, I know. But... Where's the glue, Maurice? <laughs> Your glue, Jacques. What took you? <gasps> Maurice, this stuff needs hours to dry. I don't want to wait. There, that'll do. Look at these split. Ah, uh, spit. Gum instead of glue? This will be my greatest invention ever. The one that would make Mama proud. <sighs> Pretty. No time for pretty. This is the one, Maurice. The invention that'll set the world on its ear. Think of all the people I'll help. I can't wait to show it to the guys at Pi today. Pi? Uh, today? The Philanthropic Invention Enthusiast Club. Inventions for the good of all. That's Pi. I love Pi. Jacques, did you forget about our practice today? Practice? Uh, yes, practice. We need to get ready for the town's annual Boo Boo Bird Festival. We signed up as partners in the Baguette Relay Race. Remember? Oh, don't worry. We're best buddies. I didn't forget. We're practicing during lunch, right? Right. Did you make the sandwiches? They're over on the workbench. Uh, there's only one. Did you forget mine? I ate mine last night to save time. And there's no peanut butter. Just bread. Yeah. I was in a rush, so I skipped that part. Skip the... Shock, really. You need to try a little patience, or, or everything just leads to disaster. Disaster? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about taking the time to do things right, Jacques. Uh, like your brilliant idea for a steam-powered washing machine. You were so impatient to show your friends that you didn't fix the leak. I 
change this to a steam-powered lawn sprinkler. It'll help everybody in town during the next drought. And your automatic knitting machine? Yeah, I got tired of waiting for the parts to be delivered. Besides, it makes fine waffles by poking dents in the pancakes. If you don't mind the diesel flavor. Jock, you know, you don't even take time to be friends anymore. Maurice, you gotta understand. From Paris to Toledo, inventions that are neato become ideas in which the world believes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm impeded from success that would be sweetened if my genius wasn't faster than my means. My keys, please. Oh, brother.
Uh, are you looking for this? Ah. Careful! I need that book! Ah. Oops. Oops! Whoa. Don't panic! I'm in complete control! Oh no, this is horrible! My poor flying machine! Hey, look! Oh good, could you fall a little faster? We need to get back to the lab! <laughs> Thanks, brush yourself up, let's get going over- That's it, I quit! What do you mean you quit? Quit! Retire! Taking a permanent hiatus! I've had enough of your impatience! It almost killed me! But I made you that parachute! You didn't make that! It was a prize in a cereal box! Oh yeah! Frosted Cocoa Fluffs! Yummy! But you can't quit! You're my friend! I can't afford to be friends anymore! Your impatience is hazardous to my health! Is this about the relay race? Cause I can... You don't understand! And until you do, you can find a new assistant! Wait! Well? You still have my book? I dropped it. <gasps> Where? In there. Hmm, sounds like something important is about to happen. Our lunch is about to be served. It's Mayor LaBlue. My good citizens of Boo Booville. As you know, we are approaching the annual Boo Boo Bird Festival. But as you also know, there has been no Boo Boo seen in this area for years and years. And because the Boo Boos stay away, the peoples no longer come to see the Boo Boos. Nobody comes anymore. It is an empty festival, so it is with a heavy heart that I must announce that we must cancel the Boo Boo Bird Festival. So the festival? In a baguette relay with Maurice? Unless, unless someone, an inventor perhaps, can find a way to make the Boo Boo reappear. An inventor? That's me! If an inventor can invent such a device, I will appoint him the Minister of Inventions. And he will get to wear this fabulous hat. Oh, I'll look stunning wearing that, baby. The Minister of Inventions? Mama would be so proud. Think of all the things I could do. Maurice! Maurice, let's get started. Oh. Yeah. I need my book. No. Going so soon. <gasps> you, you, you're the mad scientist. I get a little grumpy, but I'm generally amiable. <laughs> for a 
mad scientist, eh? I thought you were a myth. I'm a mister, actually. So, are you an inventor? I used to be. Back when I lived in Boo Booville. Hot beverage? Sure. <laughs> We all have the capacity for great inventions. Oh yeah, I'm an inventor too. Really? What have you invented? Tons of stuff, and really fast too. Except that, well, they sometimes don't end up working the way I plan. Really? Yeah. My flying machine crashed with my best friend in it. He didn't like that so much. And you came up here looking for answers. Yeah, my book. So, why to leave Booboville anyway? One word. Leon Morang! Leon Morang? Wait, that's two words. Leon became rich and famous when he invented that flying machine. Oh yeah, he was the best. Oh, he wasn't so great. Not an ounce of patience in that man. He nearly ruined me. I vowed to make the discovery that had always eluded Leon Morang. So I set up shop here. And after all these years, I finally made that discovery. What is it? That's it. What, the sunflower seed? Yes! That's not a discovery. It's a snack! <laughs> Take this home. Plant it. You'll see. See what? What does this have to do with anything? I thought we were talking about inventing. A lot of people put great stock in Leon Moraine's book. But the Bible, a much greater book if you ask me, holds the answer you seek. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. Haste makes mistakes? Impatience can lead to disaster. That sounds familiar. It takes time to get it right. So be patient day and night. And eventually you'll see. No, 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 something, something, something. I'll make you a deal. If you plant that seed, care for it. Then bring it back to me when it's full grown. You'll get what you desire most. Becoming the Minister of Inventions? It's a fabulous hat. Deal. Let's shake on it. This is the best shortcut in the whole world. <laughs> if that's the way you want to look at it. See you later. Minister of Inventions, here I come. Don't forget your book. And a work, clickety-clack, humming per week. Gizmos and gadgets are music to me. When my ratchets are spinning, I can't help but grinning. My tchotchkes and flotchkes and blue doohickeys. My funnels and droppers and small rubber stoppers are closer than brothers can be. See? My gizmo devices are pleasant surprises when they all sing hum. What am I doing? I don't have time for this. I've got a seed to grow. Come again to work, move it along, a ping for woe. Ping on the bob, get on the job, on with the show. I'll ramp up the speed now, I'm watering the seed now. A liter, a gallon, it's ready to go. Hey, enough fertilizing, I'll try magnetizing. This plant's got no get up and grow. Huh? I can't help but see now, the problem is me now. So much for the humding purr. No. Oh. This is taking forever. Hello and bonjour, Frere Jacques. Look what we're working on. Really, guys, not now. You see, I was thinking all we need to get a boo-boo bird is a giant trap. Y you know, a cage or something. How are you going to get him in there? Oh, this is where Alphonse comes in. By building a giant girl boo-boo. Ha! It's going to be 50 feet tall. How long is it going to take you to build that? Oh, I don't know. One, maybe two hours. It's a big job. So, what are you working on? Oh, it's a secret. Yeah, a secret. Uh-huh. We get the message. You don't want us around, I see. It's okay. We have better things to do. Au revoir! 
and I thought pie was for sharing. I guess you thought wrong. Aw, oh, man. Now I don't have any friends. I've got zilch. Nada. Nothing but a bucket of dirt. This is useless. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. So, you're becoming a farmer now? Huh? What? Huh? What? I asked if you were becoming a farmer. You know, that takes a lot of... patience. Hey! Look there! It's working! <laughs> it's working! It's working! It's working! Are you still mad at me? I just came by to pick up my hammer. Oh, well, here it is. Well... Keep up the good work. I gotta go. Yeah. Just slow down if I look around I would see there's more important things than what I create and I'd learn to wait and enjoy the joys that life will bring I am willing to wait my work will be great with patience I'll do things right I am willing to wait my work will be great with patience, I'll do things right. La 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 la, 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 la la I am willing to wait, my work will be great. With patience, I'll do things right. Madame et Monsieur, the time has come. The unveiling of the inventions to bring back the boo-boo. Oh, oh, behold, the boo-boo trap! Oui, but how does it work? Simple, really. Once the boo-boo lands inside, it snaps shut, trapping him forever for our enjoyment. But how do you get the boo-boo inside? That, my purple mayor, is where I come in. You see, I thought to myself, what better way to attract a boo-boo than with a boo bat? Just wait till I start her up. A quick, a, a give her a nudge. Read this here. Moment now. Perfect. Maurice will be so proud that I stuck with it. Maybe we can still do the baguette relay. 
I'll show this to him first before I take it to the mad scientist. I mean, the scientist. This is never gonna work. That's two hours and a box of rubber bands wasted. <laughs> I have no alternative now, but to cancel the Boo Boo Festival. Hey, where's Jacques? Maybe his invention will work. Maurice! Maurice, I did it! But you did what? You know how you said I didn't have patience? You couldn't finish things right? Right. Well, I did it! <laughs> Everyone, I think I have a plan, but I'm gonna need your help, a little bit of patience, and a whole lot of C. Until I learn what is truly important. Well, but you said Leon Morang almost ruined you. Yes, John. Being Leon Morang almost ruined you. Oh, clever. And now I'm so happy to see you've truly learned one of the most important lessons toward becoming a great inventor. Patience. Thank you, Monsieur Morang. Thank you. Mind if I take you for a spin? It would be my honor. <laughs> Buddy. I am willing to wait, my work will be great, with patience I'll do things right. Are you willing to wait, your work will be great, with patience I'll do things right. Wow, Bob, that was great! I'm glad you liked it, Junior, and I hope you liked it, too. We're over here by QWERTY to talk about what we learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. Did you bring a cookie for me? In a sec. Be patient. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. Let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. <laughs> And so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. Hebrews 6.15 Wow! Bonus verse! Nice one, QWERTY. Did you upgrade your RAM? Huh, buddy? Yep. <laughs> Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. Proverbs 19.2 in our first story, we learned that Abraham and Sarah had to wait a long time to get what God promised them. And even though the waiting wasn't easy, they knew that God would keep his promises. That's right, Junior. And in the second story, Jacques learned that being impatient leads to mistakes. But when you're patient and take the time to do things right, great things can happen. 
So, Samuel, I guess the best thing you can do is to wait patiently for your bike and trust that God gives us exactly what we need when we need it. Right again, Junior. Um, about those cookies. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's ready. Ready for what? These were yummy cookies. They didn't belong to anybody, did they? Ah, <sighs> uh, so that's all the time we have for today, kids. <sighs> well, remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Goodbye! Goodbye. I can make you some more. Can you wait? And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Asteroid, 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 asteroid cowboy. Yeehaw! Oh, my little rocky doggy, your orbit has been stirred. Don't you dare be sneaking out, gotta get back in the herd. It's lonely. I do that. Come on, boys, that's a big one. I think it might be a little too big. Giddy up, Posse. Just one more today. Why do I chase these asteroids? I suppose it's just my thing. Big or small, I'll rope them all. So yippee ki yay, I sing. Yeehaw! Let me tie your back, cowboy. You better pull back soon. You're yeah, having fun, but cut and run, or you'll run into that. Never down. But when we set up camp, it's impossible to light a fire. I think it might be that no air thing again. Yeah. You know, you can roast marshmallows on Earth. I want to be a cowboy on Earth. Yeah, me too! Asteroid cowboys in space. <laughs> Keeping asteroids in place. <laughs> this has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say, Come on, guys. You can't do this on Earth. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Another lonely day in a crowded town. Making our way the best we know how. Yo, I'm singing, man. Oh, yeah. But we're moving up. Yo, up, up, up. We're moving in. Oh, coming at ya. Got our dishes packed. Yeah, they are stacked. They've been wrapped to win. Oh, tap the porcelain. I ain't gonna break it. Yo, listen no up. No way. Even if I shake this. Yeah, man. Sheltered in a glove of bubbles, bubbles, bubbles Safe inside the arms of my bubble, bubble, bubble wrap What up, B.I.T.s? Let's wrap that wrap! Oh, yeah! Hey, Kaylee! Hey, bubble wrap, bubble wrap Love to hear that bubble snap Soft like clouds, thunder clap Bubbly bubble, bubble wrap Snap, snap, snap.
Larry. Tune in next time to hear the boys sing. We're rapping and we're snapping our bubble, bubble, bubble rap. Oh, snap! And now it's time for ukulele karaoke with Bob. The part of the show where Bob comes out and sings an ukulele karaoke. Uh, what's going on? You are doing the ukulele karaoke, no? No, I'm on a break. Uh, this is the pirates. They are busy with the rest of the show. But I, I, I don't even know the song. Your lyrics, monsieur. Bring in the props. Uh, but wait, I... I... You're all in breeze, monsieur. Hold on a sec. I'm totally unprepared to do a solo. Your backup singers. What? Isn't that the... Three. They are the Wiggly Turtle Tubies. The Wiggly Turtle Tubies? Uh, they look taller on TV. So do you, Tomato! Uh, but really, this is Larry's gig. I can't just... This show must go on, monsieur. Quick, that is your cue. Just follow along, you will be fine. But... Let's that turtle, hello, Holland. Let's that turtle, dance, dance, dance. Let's that turtle, hello, Holland. Let's that turtle, dance, dance, dance. Well, I keep a little turtle at my uncle and my aunt's. My Annie's name is Myrtle, and my island turtle's name is Lance. He doesn't wander far, even if he has a chance. He just plays his ukulele, and he does the hula dance. What? Lance that turtle, hello, Lance. Lance that turtle, dance, dance, dance. Lance that turtle, hello, Lance. Lance that turtle, dance, dance, dance. He threw a luau barbecue one breezy summer night. Invited all his turtle pals to come and have a weeky bite. The turtle started walking there as Lance began to swing. The one that lived across the street arrived there in the spring. Oh, I get it. Turtles are slow. <laughs> so I took him a long time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lance the turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle. Dance, dance, dance. But Lance just kept on cooking. He was grilling full of glee. He was marinating ribs because he likes uh, syrup with his feta cheese. Uh, I'm sorry, I. Lance's purple turtle shell has ketchup, if you please. Pineapples are shiny, spotted tiki bumblebees. Oh man. Lance and turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance and turtle. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, guys, I don't think this is right. It doesn't make any sense. It was for us. <laughs> but this song, this song. Uh, there are luscious chocolate fingers spinning slowly in the school. Malay Kalikimaka. Fluffy bunnies driving in the pool. <laughs> Larry. A thousand igloos wax the beach, spray luggage in the tree, raining puppies, flying clown, flossing puna hele. Ow! Oh, forget it. Woohoo! La Pagas Mises Coconut! Tahiti Yo Yo Leg! White Mini Whiskey Jenny Floss! Don't make the fuzzy parrot bag! Paper plastic porcupine! The horsey makes his bed! The Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Abo Awas in bed! Lance and Turtle! Hello, Holland! This has been Ukulele Karaoke with Bob. Tune in next time when Bob says... I'll be in my dressing room. Dance, dance, dance. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There once was a boy who lived in a house and the house sat under a tree. By the tree ran a fence that stretched far and wide Round the gated community Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree And my ball bounced up And my ball dropped in To the gated community Oh, the gated community is where we like to be Everything's so lovely, oh, our hearts are filled with glee And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see What a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree And my ball bounced up And my ball dropped in To the gated 
Kaelid community. Oh, the Kaelid community is where we like to be. Our clothes are never dirty and our lawns are always green. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity. The Kaelid community, we think you will agree, is pleasantly devoid of unsightly stray debris. Free, free of the free. Vegetables, celery, gotta be 